Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Despite of who or what or what the circumstances are, it is time for the body of Christ to push like never before. It is time for the body of Christ to stop whining. It is time for the body of Christ to mature in the things of Christ. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to wait till some people get on here. If you can hear me, please say mic check loud and clear. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm not seeing anything, any movement at all. Somebody say mic check loud and clear something. Let me know that you're here. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know y'all can tell my voice still a little raspy. I tell you, I was preaching last weekend. I have to be honest with you. I give it all I've got for God because guess what? He gave us. Come on, somebody, his only begotten son. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So this video is very intense. I pray that right now while you're listening, press share because everybody needs to hear this. I want this one to even go to the stars because what God laid on my heart was so powerful just a while ago. I was in um, prayer and God said, Deanna, he said, tell them. What is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? So many of you right there in the church, you want more. You want success. You want this, but you're losing your soul. You're losing You're losing that parity what you once had. Oh, come on, somebody, because you want it all. But come on, somebody, if, if, if it's not built on what God has called it to be built upon, it's coming down anyway. And a lot of people don't understand that. I've been in ministry 21 years. I've seen the best fall. I've seen the best die. I've seen the best break down. Come on, somebody. Because they started doing it God's way, and then they got besides themselves. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just going to tell you the truth. They got besides themselves. And I'm telling you, you're getting beside yourself, God says. You're trying to gain the whole world. I want this, God. I want that, God. And, and whatever it takes, you're going to go for it. You don't understand. We have an enemy. He's doing the same thing he did Jesus. He said, if you fall down and worship me, I'll give you this. And some of you are falling for it. Oh, come on, somebody. It's the same thing. The same principles. It's just different errors. Come on, somebody. That's the way they did everybody in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So I want you to listen to something because God told me to do it this way. So I want you to listen to it with your spirit like never before. Uh, it's going to be short. But it's going to be powerful. Because when we tell God yes. I need you to understand something church. When you say yes to God. You have to say yes. And when you say yes it better be real. If not you're going to get backlash. And that's what you're seeing in the body of Christ. A lot of people have said yes not understanding. The Bible say it is better not to vow a vow. Than to vow a vow. And don't well, acknowledge it and keep it. Oh come on somebody hallelujah. So I want you all to listen to this just for a moment. It's not going to take long. Then I'm going to get back into what I'm saying. Or may I say what the Lord has told me to say. So I want you to listen to this. With your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. Listen. I just wanted y'all to hear how deep this thing is. I'm so sorry and I apologize. I'm going to stand in the gap of every lying preacher, every horrorist preacher, every preacher that, that, that don't be right and don't do right by God. I, I, I say I'm sorry. I apologize for them. But I'm telling you right now, y'all got it wrong. This thing got to be a yes in your soul. This thing got to be a yes in your spirit. This thing got to be a yes. This can't be no 
play. Like, well, God, I'm mad today, so I don't want to serve you all the way. Or, or, God, I don't have what I need, so I don't want to serve you all the way. I'm so tired, and God is tired of it too. You in and out Christians. One day you want to serve God, the next day you're leaving God. For that man, that woman, that thing that you think you want. This thing is real. This thing is real. So can I tell you something? The spirit is more real than the flesh. And that's why y'all don't know it because most of you have not seen the spirit. The reason why some of you are not healed and delivered, you have not seen the manifestation of the true glory of God. I've seen it, people. It's in my life. When a preacher is really preaching and teaching and really living that life, you see the power of God in their mouth. You see the power of God in their hands. You see the power of God in their life. If you don't see the power of God, it ain't God. What is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Even the stars are doing it. I got to have that money. I got to have that house. And let me tell you something. Understand some real stuff. Because I didn't grow up rich. Come on, somebody. I understand when you got to get from here and A to B. And you got to give it all you got because you don't have food. Or you don't have the money to pay your bills. I understand that surviving technique. I understand that I've been there. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Even I did it wrong. And God had to bring me all back around and I repented. And I said, God, show me how to live this life. Show me how to do this right. God teach me, hallelujah. God keep me, hallelujah. Because I'm going to tell you now, everything that you accumulate in the devil's kingdom, you got to give it back. Oh, come on somebody. Oh, you think he playing? You got to give it back or your soul is required. You don't hear what I just said. This thing is real. They're not teaching it. They're not preaching it. Because all they care about is taking your money. They don't care about you being healed. They don't care about you being delivered. They don't care about your soul. Come on, somebody. This is a soul war, honey. This is a spiritual war between the devil and God. Hallelujah. And the body of Christ is tainted. Y'all don't see that? And then you get mad with somebody real. Come along and say, shut up, you're lying. Shut up, you're telling you're not, you're not doing it right. That's what you need. That's what I need. And thank you, Jesus, for those old men and women of God that, that girded me, told me the truth. At first, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I'll be honest with you. Telling the truth sometimes is uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, being exposed is uncomfortable, real, real talk. But thank you, Jesus, because I was able to get that thing together. That's all God is doing. God loves you so much because he wants you to get it together. Some of you are running after money. Some of you are running after a husband. Some of you are running after a wife. Some of you are running after things. Some of you are running after this. Some of you are running after that. And you're losing your soul. And you wonder why you can't sleep at night. You wonder why you ain't got no peace. You wonder why you ain't got no power. Because guess what? What are you connected to? Or who are you connected to? What is it to gain your whole, the whole world and lose your soul? <laughs> and I, I've been there. I wanted to, I remember those days. And I got in places too. Even with Stevie Wonder, oh, trust me. When you want it, don't you get it? Don't you know how to maneuver, lie, do whatever it takes? Come on, somebody. Let's be real up in here. And it's all a lie. It's all a facade. Because then when you get it, it wasn't what you thought it was anyway. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's be real up in here. But I tell you what. They got a few of us that's not going to stop preaching that's not gonna stop teaching that's gonna give it all i got to the day i die and they feel the same way too no matter who don't like us no matter what they say no matter what they do you notice they can't stop us oh come on somebody when it's really the power of god ain't nobody can stop you you like a ton of vision boom 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 they all gotta get back because ain't no demon in hell can stop the power of god the bible says who can fight against god and win dance is nobody nothing or nobody hallelujah to his name Hallelujah. So I'm just saying do it right. Do it as right. Repent if you ain't right. Ask God to help you get right. If you're under a no count leader, then get under somebody that's real. Stop being where you're comfortable at. That's what's wrong. You're comfortable and you know you're comfortable. And if you're comfortable, something wrong anyway. Hallelujah to his name. I'm going in. I'm going to tell you this is the last hour. I'm not holding back nothing. What God say, what he do, whatever. By whoever, from whoever. Come on, somebody. Because I, I, I don't get in clicks. I don't get in tricks. And I don't care about family or friends, meaning that I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth too, honey. Ain't nobody exempt. Not even me. Hallelujah. We got to go back to the oracles of God. 
That's why we're seeing so much disdain in the body of Christ. That's why we're seeing things happen that's not supposed to be happening. Because guess what? Nobody want to be holy no more. Nobody want to tell you to your face you're dirty and you're a liar. Nobody want to tell you, but still love you at the end. Now, don't get it twisted. Because God is a God of love. But he's going to tell you about yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And if he, he, he'll get it to you. Don't worry. You'll know. What is it to gain your whole world and lose the soul? My God. And I almost did it. So I know where y'all come. I almost did it. When I was in L.A., thank you, Jesus. He woke me up in that dream and told me, Deanna, which one do you want? And I had a sense enough to say, God, I want you. He said, well, everything you have, you got to lose it because it was attached to that kingdom. I said, all right. So it don't matter. It didn't matter to me what I lost. I just wanted Jesus. Jesus, don't leave me. Don't take the Holy Spirit from me. Hallelujah. What do you want, people? That's the question to yourselves. Who do you really want? Because <laughs> you have to pay any, any way you go. You have to pay the piper. You have to pay Jesus or pay the devil. What's one? And the cost is your life, your soul. Hallelujah to his name. We have to go to my class. God bless you. God keep you. And I love you. And that's why I tell you the truth. This is about soul. I will not be caught not tending to God's sheep. Because on that day, I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Not your famous servant. Not your servant that been stealing. Not your servant that talk about prosperity. Not your servant that listen to the people. But the servant of the living God. Hallelujah. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers.